there is a lot of competition to yeah. fight for that space on the refrigerator. And we have someone here today that is the queen of Christmas cards. Yeah. When I tell you, um, her cards are second to none. Mm -hmm. And and I, as far as I'm concerned, she always has top notch on my refrigerator. Yeah. I think prime you know, real estate. Prime real estate. I am talking about the one and only Holly Robinson. Pete. Hello, Holly. Hello. 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 You are beautiful. Because so do you. So do you guys. I'm happy to be here. And I'm not exaggerating. No, 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 no. Nothing, At all. nothing gets in the way it is of a situation. Holly Robinson, Pete, and Christmas. You that is for sure, especially when it comes to the Pete Christmas cards. <laughs> the, you guys do it right. You know what? Enough talking. Yeah. Why don't we give everybody yeah. a little example of what we all try to aspire to? So take us through some of these. So I asked them all to wear these. Uh, jumpers, right? Or what do you call them? I mean, this you call them onesies. Onesies. Thank onesies. You. Look at and onesies. they put them on. They were all like, look, the one in the front was trying to hide his face and the whole thing. <laughs> they didn't take those things off for two weeks. You see? They just got so into the spirit and they loved it. But we, we, you know, I, I try to give everybody their own little moment, right? Oh, yeah. And, you know, it was a, th there were some good things that happened this year. Obviously, our, yeah. our Dodgers won. And so, I try to uplift everybody, give everybody a little shine, and but I do love my Christmas cards. Yeah. And for my kids, they're like, it's like the worst time of year for us, Mom. We just want you to know that. Get you did such a good photos. job. I'm get a little bit of a shrew, though. Like when it comes to the photos. Yeah, yeah get, you like the kids. I don't play. Process. I'm like, yeah. I yeah. said, yeah, yeah. Smile. Yeah, we're having fun. And I don't see any teeth. <laughs> and, and then when the picture comes, when the photo comes out, they're like, Mom, good job. Say, that's like, what I was gonna say. But that's what the, I was gonna say. They fight you the all the way, but and everything. Like the, the yeah, uh, uh, And by the way, that was just one card. I mean, when Rodney was here co-hosting with me, I want to tell you, we went down like 20 years of cards. We had cards when the twins were in your belly. And yes. So this is nothing new. Yeah. She did, you do like a full it's photo It's the shoot. one sort of crafty moment that I have a year. Other than that, I don't do anything like that. Wow, so you're awesome. I'm like, just give me that and let me live <laughs> and be great. <laughs> Oh no one God. can compete, really, no <laughs> one can compete. Now, I know that most people may think it's a bit strange that we have our house decked out in Christmas gear again this July. You know, yeah. it might be a little weird for people, but not for Holly's family. No not this year. Nope. Not this year, uh, guys. What happened was December turned into January, <laughs> January turned into Feb, May. And then I had to go do a movie, and I didn't want anybody to touch my ornaments because they break them, so only I can put them back. This is the Virgo mom. It's a Virgo mom drama uh, thing. And so it's still up. And, and it's not? July, so you know what I mean? Christmas in July. There's, uh, you just get Christmas all year long. Yeah, it's I mean, just it's, up. Uh, you might as well embrace it. You know what I mean? It's not, no excuses necessary. Just embrace it. We the kids are embarrassed to have people over. Yeah. Well, now that we're having people over we'll again, that. they're like, Mom, it's a little, uh, really embarrassing that the Christmas tree's still up. Well, no, we needed a little extra happiness this year. That's I right. Think it's okay. And it's July, so I think. I yeah, think she's time time to day celebrate Christmas. Maybe July. take it down between like July and October when you put it. I mean, why? Actually, I'll stay out of it. I'm going to stay out of it. You're going to be putting it But I will point months. out you, you spoke about the ornaments on yes. the tree. Mm -hmm. There's one in particular I wanted to ask you about. I mean, we know right. what an incredible person you are. Yes. You're honest and you're just loyal and thoughtful and you're a wonderful person and yeah. in so many ways. There is a little bit of a questionable uh, acquiring of, a, of an uh, <laughs> character flaw uh, ornament that you have on the tree. You know, <laughs> the, the police have been involved. It's gotten yeah. a little messy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just, I, I, I pride myself in being a woman of integrity, but yeah. when it comes to ornaments, I'm a little challenged. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, when I see an ornament I want, I have to have it in that moment. Wow. And I was at a, a Christmas party at Samuel L. Jackson's house to drop a big name, but he's an amazing no, we love friend. Sam. We love Sam. Yeah. And, and yeah, there, that's the actual party. Love him. That's the picture oh. at the party. There you go. And the there floor. were these chocolate Santa Claus ornaments all over their tree. And I asked LaTanya if I could have one. She said, I'll think about it. And then the party went on. And then as I was leaving, it just, it may or may not have just jumped into my purse. It seemed right. It seemed right. Was the photo taken I mean, before you stole his uh, Santa yeah. or? Uh, I can't, I can neither confirm, confirm or, or deny, deny when the photo was taken. Gotcha, or gotcha, whether gotcha. it was even stolen. It's the investigation Dolly. is no. on. Or whether, or whether it was, it was just even stolen. I said you're he jumped into find that really, this accusatory. Yeah, he jumped right. into strong my purse. Strong word, strong word. <laughs> Okay, well, let me. I'm gonna drop a big name for you as yes. well. Like Holly, when I tell you, Holly has the I know. biggest I know. friends it. ever on the planet. I'm not exaggerating. I've known Holly a long time. Every single one of her friends is more famous than the next. 
And they make her life really special. They love you so much, Holly. As a matter of fact, Miss Patty, Patty LaBelle, the yes. one and only Patty LaBelle. Yes, made yes. One of your Christmases so super special. She's for made you. many you of my Christmas, Christmases special because I listen to her music all the time. But one Christmas, Rodney was playing quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Something we played on Christmas Day. I I didn't have a chance. I think I was pregnant with somebody. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I didn't cook. And so uh, Miss Patty found that I didn't cook, and she made a whole brisket for me. And if you have ever had Miss Patty's brisket, it's so good. And some greens and a pie. And she dry iced it and FedExed it to us. And there was my instant turnkey Patty LaBelle meal. And it's just, uh, it was the most amazing thing. I yeah, know. it sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, How sweet is that? I mean, what a, she's such an wow. icon, and what a beautiful human she is. And too. then I got a chance to work with her, which was a dream come right, true. Right, and right. all I talked about the whole in between takes was that brisket. <laughs> I was like, Patty, <laughs> what do you do to it? So we did a family Christmas gift together, and it was it was a bucket Aww. list. I bet. Moment. Absolutely. Yeah. Did you make so more brisket sweet. during that thing? No, I kept it? asking her. We had long, hard yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. You know those yes, hours. Yes, I do. No I time do. to cook any no, brisket. No, no, that's true. That's silly. <laughs> How silly of me to think about that. Absolutely. Well, we can't let you leave without uh, celebrating RJ and a recent uh, yes. incredible achievement that he was yeah. a part of. Yes. Tell well, us. you know, I've been coming here. I don't even know Year. how many nine years since we started. I mean, but it's like how many times I have lost count. And I love coming here because you guys are our family, and you've seen the journey. I mean, even when RJ, who was diagnosed uh, 20 years ago with autism, we were told he would never have meaningful employment. Mm -hmm. And then, guess what just happened? He got his uh, World Series ring for being a clubhouse attendant for the Dodgers. The, oh. the players presented him the ring. Um, I, they wouldn't let me come because I was going to be a mess yeah, a because mess. on opening day I embarrassed him in front of all of his coworkers oh, screaming at him amazing. as he was getting taken picture on a jumbotron. But imagine that, guys. And that's one of the reasons why we did, you know, Meet the Peets and shows where we showed our family journey because we wanted to give hope to families who were, are being told that their kid can or cannot oh. do something. So never let anybody put limitations on your child's life. Oh. Um, the dream of him... Uh, pl working for the Dodgers is is amazing, and the players are always so lovely to him. They they made amazing jokes, and they laugh when they gave him his ring. And it's just, there's a kid that grew up with no friends, and now he's got a whole clubhouse he's full got of a whole friends. Community. So and it's I gotta just tell amazing. You, I mean, you and you guys have always, uh, uh, Holly Rod, everything we've ever done, you guys have always been there with us during this journey. And we'll so continue thank you. to do yeah. thank And you we will so continue much. to champion Holly Rod and all the amazing work you do for RJ and all the kids out there with autism. And you're right, never put a limitation on what your kids do. Never put a limitation on what you can do. You did this. You said, oh. no, 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 this isn't how it's going to go down. It's going to go down this way, and I'm going to show you. And because of that, you've opened the doors, and you've opened people's eyes, and it's such a big deal, Holly. Thanks, so Thank really, you so really, you Thank and Rodney have done such amazing work. As a matter of fact, you're not stopping there either. It's actually inspired your latest Hallmark movie, isn't that right? Yes, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We're doing a movie called Christmas Bond, and we have um, an autism storyline. And this is something that I've wanted to do for some time. Um, and it's very important that we have actors uh, playing with autism, playing people with mm -hmm, autism. Mm -hmm. uh, representation is so key. I never saw that when RJ you know, was growing up. So we're excited. We're working on that now, and I can't wait for it to be. Finished. I can't wait for. It. I honestly, yeah. this is it's going to be a big deal. I can't wait to see. Yeah. That. Would so RJ excited. do it? He would if he <gasps> wasn't in the middle of like this is October-ish yeah, when we're right, shooting. That's... Like, oh no, no. He's You're like, mom, I got, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. I got another gig. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got to go win another ring. I love your acting stuff <laughs> and everything. Yeah, though, yeah. But I'm just gonna be hanging out oh, with no. the Dodgers. I'm yeah. Busy. Oh, so he, he's he's busy, but um, it's I think it's gonna be a really great project. Can't wait for this oh. film. And obviously, everybody at home uh, will be watching Holly all through the year and through the holiday season. All the Hallmark movies that you've done, you're amazing. Thank, Thank you. So I love you guys.